Here on this Debaco University video, we'll be covering uh, three of the main irrigation options for outdoor production, giving you some of the advantages and disadvantages of each. All right, let's go over irrigation options for outdoor cannabis production. Well, first off with outdoor production, just in general, uh, with the lack of reliable predictions or rain events, serious growers will install some form of irrigation system, especially for high, high value crops, such as cannabis. In addition, an irrigation system allows uh, for nutrient solution to be added during the season to not only hydrate, but avoid potential nutrient deficiencies in the plants. So this is why it is worth the initial investment. Even if you're having a rainy start to the season, outdoor irrigation is strongly encouraged and advised, particularly for high value crops. Now, what are the three types I want to talk about? Well, the first one is going to be drip irrigation. The advantages of drip irrigation is that it has minimal water loss. It's a very efficient method of irrigation. It also allows growers to have precise control over the plant irrigation. We can clearly see here, especially if growing in long rows. However, the disadvantages are the upfront cost of buying all the materials, not only the drip tape, but the main lines and fittings that are required, as well as filters, potential timers, also, the initial setup, it is a little bit of labor intensive to set up, or if you're looking at doing uh, plastic mulches, that initial setup can be done by a tractor as you're laying the plastic mulch, but there is still the need to buy the equipment, need to set it up properly. Um, so that can be a uh, drawback of this type of system. There's also uh, overhead irrigation. The advantages here is that it's very easy to set up. Uh, a couple of misters here, make sure they overlap depending on the pressure and volume you have. Depends how, how many you can run, but you're looking at, you only need to stall them down rows uh, within the field. There's also minimum equipment requirements. Typically they operate at high pressure. Uh, they're pretty forgiving if there's small particulate in the lines. Um, so that is there are two of the great advantages of overhead. However, the disadvantage to overhead irrigation is there's high rates of water loss due to evaporation, and also this method inherently increases leaf wetness, which late in the season could increase odds of bud rot for especially talking about cannabis. So keep that in mind that early in the season it might be great or on really hot days to kind of cool the plants, but later in the season it could present or increase the odds of potential issues such as bud rot. And then lastly, there's hand watering. The advantage is that it allows for plant-specific care, However, the disadvantage is it can be very time consuming. Also, plants can be missed by growers, uh, just uh, not intentionally, but just missing a plant. We talk about time consuming, especially on large scale productions, it can be very time consuming. Two hours a day could be spent just irrigating uh, the plants. But it does allow for that specific plant care and in smaller uh, plant growing operations, uh, the advantages of that specific care and lack of really any specialized equipment uh, could allow it to be utilized in that type of operation. Each of these three are discussed further here on Tobacco University.